Hello aspirants, welcome to India for IS. This is Manjunath and Madhav. In this video, we are going to study about Cyclone Mishan. As it was in news recently because of its severity. So then what is Cyclone Mishan? Cyclone Mishan is a tropical cyclone which originated in the Bay of Bengal region. In Northern Indian Ocean, there are two regions where we can see the formation of tropical cyclones. One region is Bay of Bengal, another one is Arabian Sea. Tropical cyclones move from east to west. And cyclones which originate in the Bay of Bengal region, they hit the eastern coast of India. And the cyclones which originate in the Arabian Sea region, they hit, move towards the Gulf region. Then there are two peaks during which we can see the formation of tropical cyclones. The first peak is April to June and the second peak is September, December. Then what is cyclone? A cyclone is a large scale system of air that rotates around the center of low pressure area. It is usually accompanied by violent storms and bad weather. Cyclones rotate anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Then coming to the formation of tropical cyclones, there are certain necessary conditions without which the cyclone will not form. The first one is large sea surface with a temperature higher than 27 degrees Celsius. It means tropical cyclones form only on water bodies. Either it is seas or oceans and temperature of the sea surface should be higher than 27 degrees Celsius. Then there should be the presence of Coriolis force. So if there is no Coriolis force then cyclonic vortex will not create. For example at equator Coriolis force is zero. So there is no formation of cyclones at equator. Then Third point is small variations in vertical wind speed. It means if we consider it as a sea level, as the altitude increases, the direction and speed of the wind should be same. If the wind is moving in this direction at the sea surface level, at the toposphere level also it should move in the same direction. So there should not be any variation in the direction and speed of the wind at the sea level and at troposphere level. Then there should be a pre-existing weak low pressure area or low level cyclonic circulation. Then the last condition is upper level divergence. It means as the wind rises, it should diverge at the upper tropospheric level. If there is no divergence, then cyclones will not form. So these are the conditions for the formation of tropical cyclones. Then coming to the global distribution of tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones distributed within the region of Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. So in, it, in Pacific Ocean they are called as typhoons and in Indian Ocean they are called as cyclones. In Atlantic Ocean they are called as hurricanes and in Australia they are called as willy willy. In Southern Atlantic Ocean formation of tropical cyclones is a rare phenomenon because of the non-availability of the necessary conditions for the formation of cyclones. Then coming to the structure of tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone, a mature tropical cyclone consists of three parts and center eye region. It is surrounded by an eyewall region, then rain bearing bands. The eye region is the calmest region of the tropical cyclone. It is very calm. Here it has a clear skies and warm temperature and the pressure in the eye region is lowest and it is surrounded by eye wall. Eye wall is the most dangerous part of the cyclone and it is a ring of thunderstorms and the heaviest rainfall occurs at the eye wall region. Then eye wall region is surrounded by an outward spiraling rain bearing bands. These are they, these rain bearing brand produce heavy rainfall and they cause strong winds. Then recently during cyclone Mishang, 
amd has issued some color coded warnings so for some district it has issued red alert so usually amd issues four alerts related to cyclone they are green yellow then orange or amber then red so if amd issues green alert means everything is well so no, no uh, specific actions are required for the re relief and rescue operation so green means all is well no severe weather expected then if uh, imd issues yellow warning it indicates that be aware so it shows that there is a severely bad weather persisting for several days then if imd issues orange or amber alert it means that the authorities and people should be be prepared and it indicates that extremely adverse weather conditions and significance signifies the likelihood of disruptions in communication and transportation and if imd issues red alerts it means take action and it is issued when extremely adverse weather conditions are anticipated and there is a significant disruption in travel power supply and it poses significant risk to the life then coming to the uniqueness of cyclone mishong cyclone mishong is unique because it is a high speed and heavy rainfall cyclone formed in the month of december usually in the month of december we won't witness cyclones of uh, very high severity but this in but the in cyclone mishong case it is exception and this is happening because of the climate change and global warming because of climate change and global warming we are witnessing the increasing frequency and intensity of cyclones during the month of december then this is the sixth cyclone from indian ocean in 2023 and it is the fourth from bay of bengal region and cyclone mishong boosted the northeast monsoon especially around chennai and uh, surrounding chennai regions in tamil nadu then coming to the impact of tropical uh, cyclone mission it has caused severe flooding water logging and uh, it affected the all forms of all kinds of transportation facilities in chennai then in andhra pradesh there is a heavy rainfall squally winds and wind speeds are up to 100 to 110 km per hour in odisha it is heavy rain then coming to the next topic naming of cyclones cyclones in northern indian ocean cyclones are named by the name to the cyclones are assigned by imd every four year the list of names are updated and the names are submitted by the member countries of the world meteorological organization which are in the indian ocean region and the criteria for the names are the name should be neutral recognizable and should not be offensive or should not have any political or cultural meanings then names are assigned to the cyclones only when the cyclones speed speed exceeds 119 km per hour names are assigned alphabetically alternating between male and female names if there are multiple cyclones active then names are assigned based on their formation date in alphabetical order mishong name was suggested by myanmar country it, it signifies strength and resilience so this is all about cyclone mishong and uh, tropical cyclones here we have one previous year prelims question on cyclones the statement one is based on gesturing statement two is on cyclones statement three is also cyclones aspirants are required to comment their answers and we have one mains model question why is cyclone mishong is unique what are the conditions for the formation of tropical cyclones it is for 10 marks and 150 words aspirants are required to practice main answer writing so this handout will be available in our india for ias whatsapp channel the channel link is provided in the description box 
so aspirants are required to join the channel and you can download this pdf for your further revision thank you